Okay, so today we are working on our Warstar Green Star Junior and we're going to be changing over the flow turbine. So, this one's pretty simple. So, to do this, we are going to have to isolate the cold mains going in to the boiler. So, we have our flow hot outlet gas cold inlet and then our return. So, to turn or isolate the cold mains going in you just twist it so it's at 90 degrees so if you look here that's going straight so if you just twist it 90 degrees it won't twist anymore as well um, what way is that clockwise then um, that will isolate it so then you can go to maybe any hot tap just open the hot tap just to maybe get out any excess water that might be in the boiler and um, as you can see this boiler is absolutely falling apart it's not been looked after um, okay, so then we're going to take off the front case. So we have two screws here that we're going to undo. They won't come out, it's unloosing them all the way. And then you also have two screws at the top there. So one here, one here, take those screws completely out. And then the front case will just wiggle out forward. Can be a little bit tricky sometimes. That is the front case off. Then just lift that up, pop this down, and then our flow turbine will be right in here. So what we can do is just undo this. Okay, as per usual, my battery died. So what I'll do is undoing this. So let's unscrew this cap out. that off okay then you can get a flathead screwdriver or anything just to ping this little clip up but first we'll just quickly take off the pressure gauge so we don't damage it and it's out of our way get that slide it up here pop it out over to the left and then we should be able to ping this up now okay there's that That is our clip out. So now we shall get my spanner and undo this nut right down here. So it's that one. Then we're gonna just wiggle it and pop this forward. Sometimes a float turbine comes out with the pipe, sometimes it doesn't. Okay, that time it didn't. Alright, so then that is just going to slide out through there. That is that pipe out. Okay, now just get your float turbine and you can use maybe some pliers or grips that we're going to use and just wiggle it out. So, okay, that is the flow turbine out. Then, obviously, you just disconnect it from here. So, just compress these two things in, take that out, and then pull that in and then we'll get our new flow turbine make sure that the seal is on there and if you want you can just get some grease grease up the inside of the flow turbine or just grease that seal there and then we are just going to slot that back in so Make sure you are sliding in the right way as well. The black cable should be on your right hand side. That's off. So you've got red, 
yellow and then black on the right okay so slide that in and then you'll know when it's in it'll do a little pop so just wiggle it in until you hear it there you go that's pushed in and then we should get our cold water pipe put some grease on the sill there slide it back through the slot okay I think I'm definitely gonna have to try and get a new battery or camera because it just died again um, to be honest I didn't put it on charge for the full length I just tried to put it on charge hopefully it will be enough for the rest of this video alright so if I can remember where we was we was putting in this connection here so I'm pretty sure I greased it already so actually let's just line this up down here get that in place okay and then we're just gonna pop that in and it should kind of pop in place like so and then I'm just gonna pop that clip in so this clip can be quite tricky so I usually put it in in a certain way so I'll put it in that way first bring it down hook it on that little 45 degree angle and then slide the other side over so I'll quickly show you so put in that angle okay and then I have to get it on the little 45 there and then I just use my right hand two fingers to push that side over like so we see there and then just bring it down it's a lot easier if this pipe's disconnected because you have play but no one's got time to be draining down the whole boiler to be doing that so there you go and I'm just gonna wiggle it down Okay, that is that back in connected electrically. We just need to do up the nut. Let's turn it by hand first. Then we'll get our spanner there, tighten that up, and then we'll see unisolate the cord. Make sure you've got no leaks. Then your new flow turbine should be okay. If you look in the description, I'll put some reasons why you might need to change it in the first place. But that is pretty much it. Then you're obviously going to put the panel up, put your case on, and then you're done. That is changing the flow turbine on a Wall Star Green Star Juno. And then just a quick thing, obviously, don't forget your cap. Cap ports go on the bottom there.